Welcome back to my prospecting adventures and today I'm in Menock Pass and uh, we're going to go up this burn in the corner here which used to carry the old wooden sluice run from the Victorian times when they were getting the gold apparently so I'm told it's too deep to dig for any gold up here but um, I just want to go and have a look see if there's any remnants of the mining history and uh, never know what you might find on the way. Let's see what... I'm just climbing up this valley behind me, which has just been a series of waterfalls. And here we are. Got vine staining in the rock here. Quartz showing up. Most of the waterfalls have been dug in all the way up this burn, but I found this one it seemed to be tightly packed and no one touched it. It looked like so. I thought I'd give it a dig and see what happens. We've got a little waterfall here, all the materials tightly packed in the bottom. I've test panned in the top of the top of this uh, overbird and there's not a speck of gold in it. So it's going to be so easy just to break all this out and then pan what's in the bottom. Hopefully we'll find some. Take all this shit away. No oh, good. Oh look, it's starting to get the compacted stuff underneath. Them. Oh, Travis pumped out of this bedrock loads. It's not a fucking speck in here. I've had all that clean once. Moves more overburdened down washing that rock. But there's nothing here, so I give up. Move on. Tailings from the old workings, I think. So it's not tailings, it's just um, been hydraulic by water cannon, just taking on power in the mountain away and then sluicing all the material down the old runs. Hydraulic the gold. I couldn't find any gold. Beautiful up here. back at camp with all the others the weather wasn't the best um, back to meet Danny Weir Alan Popovich uh, I missed Lee Palmer and that but uh, 
met some new people Stephen Hendry was a dude uh, Andrew Foxen um, Dave Allison they're all good people some gold miners lamp <laughs> Thank you. 